peeps and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately today you're going to have to excuse the wind. There's a very good reason for that. And for once it's not my wind. But today we are at Deacon Green Airfield uh, which was a USAAF airfield during World War II. We have notes. And basically what I'll do is I'll have a bit of a waffle and try and get out the wind. So, RAF D from Green, or USAAF Station 142, was built in 1943, uh, and was operational from July 42 to May 45, uh, finally closing on the 1st of January 1948. Uh, we're two miles north of Attleboro, my hometown. I do like that someone's popped the diecast B17 on there, even if it's totally the wrong markings and colour schemes and model nerd. So yes, we have the memorial, which if you try to use Google Maps to get here, it will take you somewhere completely different. There we go. There we have a little bump from the RAF Air Cadets, and we're going to try and get out of the wind a bit. blowing about and the trees. It's almost like something doesn't want me to film this video. Right, so this may not look very interesting to you, this random patch of concrete. But this is actually part of the old original hard sanding for the airfield. There we go, it's quieting down a bit now. So USAAF Station 142 was home to the 8th Air Force 452nd Heavy Bombardment Group originating from Walla Walla in Washington. I know this isn't just a bridge of the beautiful Norfolk countryside. You might just be able to pick out Little Ellingham, Ch Little Ellingham Church and some farm buildings. But this is showing why they chose this location for an airfield. It is basically completely flat and wide open. Now the airfield, the actual runway, starts along this road here, up where those signs are. I can't see the camera. And extends all the way, basically to the horizon down that way. Which was needed to get B-17s off the ground. The tail code was the square with the L in it, so if you see a B-17 with that tail code in, it flew from here in World War II. They were assigned to the 45th Combat Bombardment Wing, and it was Squadrons 728, 9Z, sorry 9 Zulu, 729, Mike 3, 730, Six Kappa and seven three one seven Orange. We'll go with uh, the bombardier or bomber squadrons. As I said, B B seventeen flying fortresses. They flew a total of two hundred and fifty missions from here. Yes, we, we just try to find somewhere out of the wind a bit so we can talk a bit easier. Yes, that is a big compost pile. Reed muck pile. There we go, we've got some shelter from the wind now. Uh, as I say, yes, they, there were 110 B-17s that were lost, which is a lot, even at that time, is considered particularly heavy losses. But hey, they were involved in the, the thick of the action, as it were. 
in one of the most active bombing campaigns in the world ever, if not the most. Now, post-war it was returned to RAF Maintenance Command on the 9th of October 1945, which was number 758 RAF Maintenance Unit. As I said, it was closed on the 1st of January 48 and returned to agricultural use. Most runways now remain either as roads or farm tracks, and that is a kind of sad thing in that a lot of the existing hard standing has been pulled up by farmers to increase, increase the crop yields, basically. Uh, it's not a historically significant, as it were, site, so they can get away with it. But uh, it's still a pretty area of farmland. And I did grow up around here. I lived in Deefham. So yes, we used to muck about, come bombing down the airfield. Plenty of people learned to drive on it. Back then, you could literally do a lap of all the runways, which unfortunately are all gone now. It's literally just the road that goes straight down there that is the old runway. So if you look on the map, it's called an old runway road. Now, as kind of might be expected, being as it's a World War II airbase and or airfield, sorry, not airbase, there is a difference. As I try not to trip over my own feet. Oh, Oxbow daisies. Um, there are paranormal shenanigans occurring here. You can see some oats and some wheat. And even more out the wind, and Jesus, hot out the wind. But yeah, so figures have been spotted. Um, several occasions by several different people. Always seen in what would be World War II aircrew dress. Just a general group vibe too of there being people around. People have heard the engines start up on the bombers. I have no idea where I'm pointing the camera because I can't see the screen whatsoever. I do apologise. Um, people have smelt the exhaust, the fuel, that kind of thing. And they also heard voices. Americans do talk. Yeah, but generally not in the back end of nowhere in Norfolk, England. So, yeah. So, yes. Let's go, let's go to face and get the camera facing away from the wind. So, in the very short time we've been here, we've just been here 20 minutes perhaps, um, Mary has smelt basically exhaust smoke. It don't smell like a bonfire and it don't smell like a barbecue and we can't see like, any smoke anywhere it's not really anywhere close enough that would have anything burning um, and I heard a voice in my ear don't know what it said but it said something so I just introduced myself said we were here we didn't mean it Follow the edge of the field. See that dead straight line? He says, not being able to actually see what the camera's pointing at. See the dead straight line down the end of the field. That's another one of the service roads. We actually wander out to the moor again. Oh, 
twice this way, so we're not getting the full blast of the wind. Um, as we head to the memorial, I'll actually show you where we are on the map. But yeah, pleasant place to be, nothing negative. And as I say, as you can tell by the wind and the wind di directions, that's why it was used as an airbase. So if we look here, so we have main runway, two other runways, and the service round around the service road around the outside. So with main runway there. The edge of this field down here is what would be that service road and we are basically, where are we, yeah we are here, <laughs> I think, something like that anyway, but yeah so all in all a very nice memorial that I wasn't even aware was here until I found out about it fairly recently and then I realised why it wasn't put up until May 92 by May 92 I'd beggared my ankle up and I couldn't cycle so I've not been down here since February 92 so there we go anyway hope you've enjoyed a bit of a waffle and a ramble about an old airfield little bit of paranormal stuff, nothing too severe. I recommend come, if you hit a rat in the area, come have a look. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Have fun. Peace out. Rock on. Bye-bye.